Are you hungry for some mouth-watering financial insights? Look no further, because we've got a delectable treat in store for you. This is Finance Today, your go-to channel for all things money, investments, and wealth building. Like a top-notch restaurant, we're here to serve up tantalizing advice, but with a twist. Our seasoned experts are here to guide you on your financial journey. But hey, we're not just throwing a generic recipe your way. So fasten your seatbelts, grab a fork, and get ready to indulge in some finger-licking good financial knowledge. But remember, for that perfect flavor, always consult your very own financial chef, your personal advisor, before making any important financial decisions. Raise your hands if you've been feeling the heat of those rising interest rates. The Reserve Bank of Australia RBA, has been on a roll hiking rates like there's no tomorrow. Last week, they cranked it up yet again, pushing the official cash rate to a staggering 11-year high of 4.1%. Ouch. That means an extra 100 bucks every month for the average Joe with a $600,000 mortgage. Thanks, RBA, but we didn't sign up for this roller coaster ride. And guess what? They're not done yet. The central bank's governor, Philip Lowe, is already waving a warning flag, telling us to brace ourselves for more rate hikes in their battle against inflation. Oh boy. As if struggling to pay our bills wasn't enough, now we're supposed to tighten our belts even more? Thanks for the tip, Phil. Now here's the kicker. While we thought we were somewhat shielded from the impact of those interest rate hikes, it turns out the delay in economic policy magic means we're only starting to feel the full blow now. Prepare for impact, folks, because it's about to get real. If you're thinking, okay, but how bad can it be? Let me hit you with some mind-boggling stats. According to the latest data, almost 28% of mortgage holders are now teetering on the edge of at-risk of mortgage stress. Can you believe it? We're talking GFC-level stress here. And that's not all. 40% of homeowners are grappling to keep up with their mortgage payments, struggling like never before. I don't know about you, but I've got a mailbox full of these worrying facts and figures. It's like a never-ending reign of doom and gloom. But there's one silver lining. Well, sort of. Finder, the comparison website, has given us a benchmark to gauge our misery. If you're using more than 30% of your hard-earned money to cover those mortgage repayments, congratulations. You're officially in the mortgage stress zone. Yay, us. It's no wonder the banks are feeling the pressure, too. Calls to their hardship lines are ringing off the hook, with many folks seeking some reprieve. But hey, it seems we're not quite desperate enough to press that help button just yet. So what's the game plan, fellow mortgage warriors? It's time to buckle up, tighten those purse strings, and brace ourselves for whatever the RBA throws our way. Perhaps we can all start growing money trees in the backyard. Or maybe just hope for a magic genie to grant us three wishes. Until then, keep your calculators close and your bank statements closer, because this financial roller coaster ride is far from over. All right, listen up, fellow warriors in the battle of mortgages. You might feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place with those soaring interest rates, but fear not. We've got some nifty moves to help you weather this storm like a pro. We're talking about hardship arrangements, where you can team up with your bank to create a temporary plan to ease the burden. But hey, hold your horses. Before you dive into that, let's explore some other tricks up our sleeves. Hey there, enjoying the insights? Subscribe for more. Like this video? Give us a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now, a back to the show. More financial wisdom awaits. Subscribe, like, and comment for more delectable financial knowledge. First things first, grab that phone and dial up your lender. Don't be shy. Give them a call and have a friendly chat about your loan situation. You never know. You might not be getting the best deal out there. Challenge them. Ask them straight up if you're getting the most competitive rate. And if they try to dodge your questions, ask to speak to their retention team. Sometimes, that's the secret door to unlocking better offers. And if they can't meet your demands, don't hesitate to shop around and explore other options on the market. It's a battlefield of deals out there, and you deserve the best one. Now here's a tip from the pros. Be prepared. Many of us took shelter under fixed-rate loans during the pandemic. While they might have kept us safe and sound, there's a storm brewing when those rates finally bid us farewell. Get ahead of the game and figure out what your repayments will look like once the fixed rate period ends. Start squirreling away that amount every month. It's like building your own financial fortress. This way, when the rate increases come knocking on your door, you'll be ready to welcome them with open arms. And guess what? You'll even have some extra cash stashed away as your secret weapon if things get tough. Oh, and one more thing. 
Keep your eyes peeled for those fixed rate loans that allow you to make extra payments. If you've got some extra cash lying around, toss it into your loan before the fixed term is up. It's like adding an extra layer of protection to your financial fortress. Smart move, right? So, there you have it, mortgage warriors. Arm yourself with these savvy strategies and you'll be standing tall against the rising tide of interest rates. Remember, we're all in this together, and together, we'll ride out this storm. Alright folks, here's some valuable advice for those of us caught in the jaws of financial hardship. When life throws those curveballs, it's time to strategize and show those bills who's the boss. Now picture this, you're in a tight spot, and your mortgage feels like a heavyweight on your shoulders. But fear not, there are ways to ease the burden without diving straight into the mortgage maze. Let's start by tackling those smaller debts first. You know those pesky credit cards and energy bills? Negotiate with the providers for interest-free repayment arrangements or long-term solutions. They might just give you a lifeline to ease the pressure. But wait, there's more. When you feel like you've tried everything else, it's time to reach out to your bank. Now, don't sweat it. There's absolutely no shame in seeking help. Remember, banks have dedicated teams to assist folks in financial hardship. So give that help button a good old push. Chat with them, explain your situation, and together, come up with a repayment plan that works for you. And guess what? Your credit score won't be bruised for this, so no need to fret. But hey, if you're feeling overwhelmed and need someone to guide you through this financial jungle, there's help available. You heard me right. Free financial counseling services are out there, just waiting to offer a helping hand. Check out the National Debt Helpline in your region and explore local services too. They've got your back. Now here's the deal. If your lender is playing hardball and not cooperating, don't be afraid to take action. Submit a complaint to the Financial Complaints Authority of your nation. You've got rights, and they're here to make sure you're treated fairly. So, my friends, remember this. When the going gets tough, there's a whole team of support waiting for you. Negotiate, communicate, and seek help when you need it. Together, we can conquer financial hurdles and come out stronger on the other side. You've got this. And here's a friendly reminder. The advice we share here is like a compass guiding you through the vast landscape of money matters. But remember, each journey is unique. So before you embark on any financial decisions or invest in magical money potions, always seek your own personalized advice from the experts who know your story best. Happy exploring! Remember, this is your financial feast, and you want it to be the most delicious one yet. So get ready to savor the flavors of personalized advice that cater to your needs, goals, and dreams. Bon appetit! Thanks for tuning in to our financial adventure today. If you found this compass of advice helpful, we got plenty more videos waiting for you on our channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the journey, and drop a comment to share your thoughts. Together, we'll navigate the world of finances and make every penny count. See you in the next video. Stay curious and stay wise.